children, it's time to dust out those rusty strings just a one more time to learn Stella Blue. Ha cha 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 cha. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode, or I mean, old, whatever. This has rewatch value of Play Dead. I'm Davey. If you're new, subscribe. Today we're learning Stella Blue. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. Well, this is actually a pretty easy song, and uh, it's beautiful. It's one of one of my favorite songs. It is a uh, it is definitely a heartstring puller. This song to me is also definitely about uh, DMT. This is a this is a death song. This is almost a requiem, if I can say so, and I can. Because I, I'm me and I can do whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? So to, to me, this is a requiem of sorts because this is a, a culmination of, of points in your life coming together just to be the thing, if that makes any sense. All the years combined, they melt into a dream and then that's juxtaposed with the end that is like uh, it all rolls into one. Nothing comes for free. Uh, uh, there's nothing you can hold for very long. And when you hear that song come crying like the wind, it seems like all this life is, is just a dream. It's it, to, it's it's just it's a circle. It's a complete beautiful little circle that's also probably a little bit of an infinity figure eight because that's life. But the song was written by Jed Garcia Rabahana back in uh well Jerry Garcia wrote the the you know the the music to it and Robert Hunter wrote the words. But Robert Hunter actually wrote this in 1970 at the Chelsea Hotel in New York, which is a very famous hotel. A lot of like. A, a lot of the dudes back in the day stayed there a lot, like extended stays, like Bob Dylan, The Dead, I'm pretty sure, uh, maybe like some Joe Cocker, some Jimi Hendrix. There was a lot of stuff going on there. And as you all know, it came out on Wake of the Flood in 1973, which is it, which is weird. They didn't usually you know, take that long to put songs on albums after they had been written. But this is one of those ones, I guess, that just needed the love, maybe. Um, it was first played at the Hollywood Bowl on June 17th, 1972, and the last time it was played was at Missouri's Riverfront Amphitheater on July 6th, 1995, which is not, not long before old, old Jer Bear uh, shuffled off this mortal coil, you know what I'm saying, to go eat chili cheese dogs and milkshakes in heaven. Uh, and a lot of people want to know who Stella was because Stella is, I believe, Italian for star and blue is usually taken as like blues, you know, like Stella blue, like sad star. Um, and that's that's nice. You know, that's pretty. And also uh, Jerry used to play a Stella guitar. So I'm sure that there's a lot of stories around that, too, that maybe Stella's just a love song to that guitar. But anyways. Yeah, this is how it breaks down. We're really, we're really pumping through it today. We're really getting through this one. This is how it breaks down. OK, so you've got your intro. You've got a verse, a chorus. And what's that? What's that little thing? What is that? Is that a bridge? You bet your goddamn ass that's a bridge. You bet your little bitty ass it's a bridge. And I am psyched for this bridge. This is one of my favorite bridges. I've stayed in every blue light cheap hotel, you motherfucker. Um, so I don't know why my nose is itching. Somebody's thinking about me. You thinking about me? I'm sorry I'm wearing my cans today. My uh my in-ear monitors died on me, so I've got some more on the way, but this is this is just what it is. I get to look like a dweeb today. Um so you're yeah, yeah. So you've got intro, verse, chorus, bridge, and uh we're gonna we're gonna get through it. It's it's all pretty simple. Uh the the song's pretty short. It just, it's repetitive, you know, it's just those the the best songs are. You know what I'm saying? So uh let's uh let's get you playing this song because it's it's very easy, okay? And I'll explain these other there there's not really many crazy chords going on, but this intro's a little a little weird. So uh let's go ahead and get into it, you little jabronies. Come on! Hey, hey. Blue. I'm so happy seeing you. Thank you for being my friend. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is your tab for it, okay? It's it's I know there's some numbers there, but it's it, it'll look fine. So I'm gonna play play it real quick and then we'll break it down, okay? See, not so bad, pretty quick, right? All right, so how it's gonna break down, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start 
on the seventh fret on your E string and your G string, okay? So that's where that weird sound comes in. And you can hit all your strings if you want. Make it sound dirty. You can kind of mute it, but I like to pick them. I just take my middle finger and my pick. And I just Got me? So that's your first line. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to switch this you're going to switch this shape up and you're going to go to the 9th fret on your E string and the 11th fret on your D string for that. Doing that octave, right? So you're going to do... Cool? And then you're going to take this down to the 8th, or... Yeah, you're going to take it down to the 6th and 8th. So 6 on the E string, 8 on the D string, okay? Cool. And then you're going to take that down a half step to five and seven. And you're going to just go to an E chord. So. Cool. One more time. Got it? And then you're going to chill on E. So. Cool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do a two, one, off, four, open. So, it's so, so nice. So, on the A string, two, one, open, and then four on the E string, and then open. So, back to that E. And then when you're ready to start, you're going to do a, um, a two, four on the A string. Two, four, and then a one on the D string, and then to your. Cool. So it'll sound like this. I, I believe you've got it. See, see, we're just going to blow right through this. This isn't going to be anything today. So one more time. So. <laughs> Intro complete. Look at you. Look at you, Kanye on a Tony the Tiger. I know you. I see you. All right, so now we're going to move on to our verses, which are, again, pretty pretty simple, but, the, but you knew what you were getting into today. You knew what you were getting into. I know you. I see you. I see you right there. Stop that. Stop touching that. Stop touching that. Stop touching it. All right, let's go on. All these come on. Hello, and welcome to your verses. Their verse cards. Pretty simple. There is a little thing with the B7, but I'm just going to show you. It is like a little half-step bend. You do a half-step bend when you are doing the B7, but it is okay. We will get to it. What I will do now is I will show you. I will show you what it sounds like, and then we will break it down. Okay? Okay, here we go. Back in my takamusa. I don't know if you guys ever knew the show Perfect Strangers. I'm too young to know the show Perfect Strangers. How do I know that? Whatever, Bronson Pinchot. I see you. I'm wiser beyond my years. You don't even understand. Here we go. We're going to play real quick, and then we're going to learn it. Okay, bye-bye. All the years All 
All right, so how that's going to break down is we're going to start on an E chord. So all these, and on combine, we're going to go to an E major seven, which is what this is going to look like is you're basically turning your E chord upside down. So now you've got, um, so if you're on the, you use your E chord there, that's, that's A, D, and G. But what you're going to do now is you're going to put your, you're going to move on the D and G strings, you're going to be on the first fret, and on the A string, you're going to be on the third fret. So you're going to go from all the years combined. That's so nice. That's such a nice chord. That's such a good pairing of chords. God damn it. Why couldn't I write these songs? Why couldn't I be the one that wrote these songs? Whatever. Existential crisis is for later. I'll figure that out later. So we're on the E to E major 7. And then you're going to do a two, two, four, two, two, four, two, four. So two, four on the A string to two on the D string, four on the A string. And that's just walking you up to A. So it's going to be E to E major seven. Do a walk to A sus four. Now an A sus four is basically so you're doing an A and then you're basically adding like almost kind of turning it into a D, but you're keeping it an A, which turns it into an A sus four. Okay? So now we're gonna go to E minor. C7 up to B7 and this is that weird thing so what so you can hear you can hear it being done in two octaves so there's the the, the lower octave so what you're doing there is you're taking that so you're on a B7 so you're going to take that ring finger on that fourth fret on the D string, and then you're gonna take one of your fingers and go to that third fret on the G string and bend it a half step. Jerry did this a lot. He did a lot of half step bends, so. And then I just like to do that. Do you like a little, a little chromatic slide down to get back to that E? Now you can do whatever you want. You can actually figure out what exactly he's doing. There's a lot going on in that studio recording, and I'm not I'm not going through it like that. So we're I'm just I'm showing you how to play this so you can impress your friends and maybe that lady that you're trying to get get with, you know? So that takes you into the second part of your verse to E major seven. Yeah. To A. Go to E minor again. Now we back to C7, then up to the B7, then your little B, Stella Blue. And then now we're in our chorus, so let's go, baby. Stella Blue. All right, what's slapping? Boom, chorus chords. It's an E, A, and a C, but there's some stuff that we can do. Okay, so um, I'm going to play through it real quick, and then we'll break it down. Okay, see, not too, not too bad, right? So you're gonna start on E, Stella Blue. Then do that. Stella Blue. You can just do that. You can just do an E and A and a C straight up. But there's a little, 
Uh, sometimes they'll do a walk up and sometimes they do a walk down in there. Sometimes Phil's doing a walk down and Jerry's doing a walk up. Sometimes it's the other way around. I like to do a walk up with that A. So it like the sort of be like Stella Boom. Open A two four six seven to that E root. That's what I like to do. Stella Blue. That that's what that's what that's what gets me off. Uh, but what I do what like to do that with chords. So you hit that Stella Blue. Then you do your walk up. So you can do that while hitting that A chord. That's what I like to do. So you'll hit that open. And then you just bring your finger up here again to cover this this A on the second fret. And then you add your finger here to get that fourth. And then you throw your pinky to get that sixth. And then you go up to an E. So still a blue. Still a blue. And then that's where your verse starts back over. Right? So we'll we'll do that again. So got it. You can just rewatch this over and over again. Don't worry your little head about it. It's not like these videos disappear. They have rewatchability. They have rewatch value, which is why I will have a job for years to come off this. Okay? It was all a big plan. Not really. I just kind of fell into this. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here. So would you guys like to do a bridge? Would you maybe like to do a bridge? Because uh, I know a fellow that would like to do one. Yeah! -o! <laughs> yeah, bridge. <laughs> Little rat laugh. I've got a little rat laugh. Little rat laugh. God, I'm the worst. I'm sorry. You're like, you took a week off for this. <laughs> but anyways, let's do the bridge. In hey, we at the bridge. Hey, we got that bridge. Hey, we're going to cross that bridge. Hey, oh, when we get to it and we're in it, we're at it. We're gonna do it. It go with the bridge. That's the chords for it. Hey, not bad. Gonna be easy. Here we go though. Gonna be nice and breezy. Okay. So I'm gonna play through it real quick and then we'll uh we'll show you how to do it. I've stayed in every blue light cheap Camping for child. Uh, so how that's going to break down, you're going to do your patented Jerry chromatic walk up to whatever. Or you can just do an open A up to B. So A, A sharp, B, or A, B flat, B, however you want to look at it. Um, and then you're going to hit that B, the I've stayed in every blue light to E, G, motel. You're going to go to A, to E, camp, and to B. Trying. So we'll do that again. So I've stayed in every blue light to E, G, motel, up to A, down to E, can't win to B. Stay on B, and you can just slide up or redo that, whatever you want. Just stay on B. So. Dust off those rusty strings just one more time. And I do, I do realize that I, I fucked that up in uh, my, uh, you, you know, my reference for it. So it's an, it's a E A E on that one more time. Cool. So. Dust off those rusty strings just E A E up to A. To be gonna make them to be I 
and you're back there at your verse. And that's it. That's so, that's the whole song, bruh. Bro, babies, ladies, men, women, children, grandpappies, grandmammies, aunts, uncles, cousins, homies that are basically family. You know, that's, that's, how, that's how you play Stella Blue. And I'm so proud of you for learning this tune. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a little loop for the verse section, and we'll solo over that a little bit in E. Okay, all right, guys, I've got my uh, my little loop set up. So what I've done is I'm doing the verse into the chorus. So like the second half of the verse into the chorus. That's that's what I'm doing. Um, so you, so E mixo is pretty close, is what I'm gonna say to you. So E mixo. Um, Let's just uh, let's just get through it a little bit. I'm gonna eat my words on it. I know I'm gonna have to actually figure out what actual music theory is one of these days. But uh, until it becomes a real issue, unless it's fucking with me, I ain't gonna do nothing about it. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm always trying to get better. But let's just see what we can do. This one's just weird because it goes from major to major seven to minor in the same little chord progression, and then you do the weird shit with the B. But yeah, so let's just let's just do it, and maybe just you'll get some ideas. How about that? So I've got um I'm gonna turn my little spark on that I've got a little bit low and then a little bit of uh, delay, and then um let's let's have some fun. I know it wasn't the best and it was a little choppy, but those the the 
the solo for that one's supposed to be a uh, just really just kind of like, uh, you know, it's a requiem. It's a death song, so it's got to be it's got to be soul leaving body, mind left body, soul left body. Know what I'm saying? But that's what I got for you this week, guys. Uh, please keep coming back. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, everything you know you're supposed to do. Um, we we have a bunch of stuff comes out all the time. We have a podcast called The Drinking a Joint. It comes out. We've been live streaming them on Saturdays at 9. So most of our streams start at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just in case you're wondering. Fridays we do a stream. Uh, Mondays we do streams. So And uh, Saturdays we do streams. Got that? And then Wednesdays, Thursdays, videos come out. Uh, and we're working on a bunch of other stuff all the time. So please go join the Patreon. Five, twenty, hundred dollar tiers. Um, you get a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of cool stuff going on on the Patreon and on the Discord that you get when you join the Patreon. As always, I, I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, yeah, just just straight up. This is this is the coolest thing I've ever fucking been a part of. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but me. I just a humble little Tennessee boy that's never been through nothing, never had nothing in his life. You know, I was homeless years ago, like, you know, five years ago, I was fucking homeless. So live with that. I'm just kidding. Don't live with that. I love you. Um, You're the best. And I'll see you in the next one.